Alright, hey guys, and welcome back to another Star Wars Battlefront 2 video. In today's video, guys, I just want to teach you guys how to actually unlock the new Ray skin, the new resilient Ray skin, her, of course, her hooded appearance, that came in today's update, of course, is the Battle of Scarif update. Now, it's pretty easy if you follow these steps. So, first of all, you need to get into a match of Takadana. Now, this could be any match of Takadana, as long as it is online, and as long as it's not Supremacy, because Supremacy, you can't actually get into the castle. So, this could be in co op, it could also be in Galactic Assault. Now, once you go into Takadana, you need to go into to Maz's castle and you need to go to the second floor and on the first room that you go upwards on the left you'll see a picture of Hando Hanaka who was of course the pirate scum who was in the Clone Wars. Now all you have to do is shoot this and a little coin or a little medallion will pop out and all you have to do is interact with it, pick it up and move over to Slave 1 or the Slave 1 looking type ship. Now once you're over here guys, you will see a few little canisters side by side each other and you'll be able to interact with them. Now the interaction with this is a, it's a bit of a puzzle, but we have figured it out that it is left, right and middle. So put interact with the left one first, then the right and then the middle and you'll see a little couple of flashing lights. There'll be three flashing lights uh, around the area. So and this is a very cool Easter egg. So the second the left the one on the left actually flashes five times. The one in the middle flashes zero times, and the one on the right flashes once. Now, this of course means the 501st, the 501st Legion, which of course is a massive cosplay group. Of course, we also have the 501st Legion in Star Wars. And the cool thing about that is, there is also a 501st Legion banner in, like, on the, on top of Maz's Castle where all those banners are. Now, all you have to do is go up to that banner and actually try and sit on it. It's pretty difficult. It took me a couple of tries to get it, but actually sit on the banner, and we'll see a little bit bit of an interaction button interact with it and you'll hear a ting now once this actually happens you run into the basement where of course ray was in the force awakens go to that room and interact with it the door will open and once you go inside you actually get the milestone completed uh, pop-up of it calls to you and also in there is a picture of all the developers in like kind of like a star wars um, regalia which is pretty damn cool after that guys, just finish your match and back out. And all you have to do is open your crate. So it comes in a crate, it's an epic skin and you've, got, you've instantly got it. So that's all you have to do to unlock this skin. Now of course there's another skin that came in the update which of course the more old master skin. Now all you have to do for this one guys, is eliminate 5,000 enemies with Darth Maul. Now I know a lot of people have been asking about this one and yes it is a lot of enemies to eliminate but remember it's not kills, it's elimination. So assist count as kills with this one guys. So you don't have to get every kill, you just have to get elimination. They could all be fight, they could all just be assists and you will still get the skin. So this one will take a while guys. Of course it'll be a bit of a grind. I'm gonna try and grind out over one, maybe one or two days try, so I can try and get the skin to show you guys really quickly but uh yeah let me know what you guys think about this challenge uh, i know it's been very it's a very hot topic in the community at the moment so before i end this video guys i just want to talk about the skins that actually came in the update so of course we have our resilient ray and the old master mall that we just talked about we also have the new palpatine skin which looks pretty cool also the hooded kylo with his guard mask and also the golf course the ray skywalker skin as well now out of these skins as well, I pretty obviously the Ray Skywalker skin. You guys know about my ranking video of the top skins I want to see coming to Battlefront 2, and Ray Skywalker, the Ray Skywalker skin was one of them. It was actually my top one to be honest. Now a couple of other skins that they come to the update, we have a new Zabrak appearance, well updated really Zabrak appearance for the Rebel Alliance, and we also have a female Zabrak skin for the Specialist. A couple of Empire skins as well. We have, of course, the Shore Trooper came in this update, so you can get the Shore Trooper for every single class, the Assault, Specialist, Heavy, and Officer. And there are a few markings that differentiate between each class, which I think is pretty cool. We also have the different types of Stormtrooper come in these classes as well. So the Sand Trooper is the in the Heavy class, and we also have the Scout Trooper, which is, of course, in the Specialist class. So you can choose whatever class you want, guys. You can choose whatever kind of uh, skin you want, basically. And also, the Snow Trooper is included with this as well. We also had one more skin that came in this update, guys, and that was the Rebel Pathfinder skin. Now, unfortunately, you can't actually choose this skin to be on every map. It's only on Scarif. It's a default uh, map for Scarif. Unfortunately, that's the case. So, and again, I know a lot of people wanted to unlock these skins with credits, but you know, credits are almost useless at the moment. It's, it is it is very unfortunate. But that's all for me for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope it helped you out as well, guys. Now, if you guys liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more Star Wars Battlefront 2 content in the future. There will be more Battlefront 2 content in the future, guys. I can assure you that even though the game may be, no, may be not getting any more or very small updates in the future. So keep an eye out on the channel for that, guys. And I'll have a lot of stuff coming uh, 
with Star Wars games as well. So if you guys enjoy that, make sure to subscribe for more Star Wars content in the future. But let me know what skins you like out of this update, guys. What is your favorite out of these skins? Or even your top three, even. Let me know in the comment section below. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you in the next video or stream, guys. And as always, may the force be with you all. Always.